Can you tell us how did you come across the PA profession? So uh, for me, it was a couple times I came across the profession and also the decision to like, pursue PA school was not like a one-time um, big decision. I, I've heard from some students, they hear about the profession, they're like, oh, I'm definitely going to go in. For me, I, I first heard about the profession I think in my fourth year of undergrad. It was a family member who knew someone like that they had graduated with that went into the profession. And so they heard a little bit about it. So I decided to do a little bit of research after I heard that just to look up um, what is the PA profession. And it definitely intrigued me. But at the time, I was very focused on my like the path that I had set out since probably about grade 12 was uh, I'm definitely going into medical school, like that's my focus. So I thought, wow, that's a really good profession, but I'm just sticking with my focus um, for medical school. So I uh, finished my schooling and I went to complete my master's and in my master's, I was also preparing to retake the MCAT. And then during that whole process, I really came to um, realize that if I was going to continue through the process, I needed to know why I wanted to specifically be uh, a medical doctor as opposed to a different profession. Um, so that's when I started to do a bit more research. Uh, and then I came across the PA profession again and I really uh, looked into it a bit more and I thought, wow, this is really cool. This is great. Like I am writing out a list of all the things that I wanted of a career and I feel that the PA profession can give me that. And there were just kind of a few things about the medical school path that um, were kind of drawbacks for me and some things that I learned too that um, just didn't sit well with me the same way as pursuing the PA profession. So um, by doing that research again, I came across um, your page, Anne, and just saw all the different students that were in the program and learned a lot more about it. And then I also attended a couple of the, the sessions the schools put on um, to uh, show what their programs are like. And so that helped inform my decision a little bit more as well, because I was further able to understand um, from the eyes of practicing PAs, what does it look like to be a, a PA? So those are kind of the different ways that I found out about it. And then through that kind of learning process really guided my decision. What were specific things that drew you to the PA profession? So I would say the biggest piece was the collaborative role that PAs play. So working as a medical receptionist, I had a really great opportunity. There were some like lovely doctors I was working with just to chat with them and kind of pick their brain about what it looks like to um, be a family doctor. Um, and also one of them had been an emergency doctor as well. So I got to kind of hear that side as well. And the kind of responsibility it requires and the time commitment and the length of schooling and in terms of flexibility in the career, um, there is a lot of flexibility, but from my understanding, um, you kind of have to really develop your skills first and then become established and then you have lots of flexibility in your career, but it takes time to get to that point. And so for me, um, seeing as a physician assistant, just the uh, opportunity to have tons of flexibility in terms of areas of practice. If I want to develop my understanding of medicine in different fields, the flex, like the lateral mobility, and then also the collaborative role that PAs play um, in terms of decision making. Yes, PAs make lots of decisions by themselves, but also in consultation with their supervising physician. And I really like that shared decision making process. And I think it's really great for patients, um, just allowing opportunities to to extend care and also the larger kind of goal of the PA profession, improving access to patient care. I just think that's really cool and something I wanted to be a part of. So all those things really drew me to the PA profession and things I want to uh, accomplish um, in my personal career goals were all very much attainable pursuing the PA profession. So those conversations, um, lots of personal reflection and just uh, what I saw from working, like my little bit of exposure in the medical field really drew me to the PA profession. And can you describe what that self-reflection process involved? Um, was it conversations you were having? 
uh, what kind of questions were you asking yourself to really decipher whether or not you wanted to pursue PA? Yeah, so I took, I would say maybe about two and a half, three weeks, like very intentional while I was working to be like, okay, I really want to make a decision that I'm comfortable with because I, a couple of family members were saying me like, why don't you just apply for both? If you're not sure, you still thinking you might want to pursue the MD route, just apply for both and then see what happens. And for me, like I knew I wanted to have um, like, a strong decision that I was comfortable with. And I knew that I could come to that decision if I had just like done some self-reflection on both paths. So, and I think that also too, going through that process would then make me a stronger candidate for either program because I took the time to really think about why I would be best suited for which career and why I was more passionate about one more over the other. They're both great careers, but just um, going through that process, obviously. So I um, took some time to journal and I wrote down all of my career goals and all the things I, at that time, really wanted to uh, kind of pursue or things I wanted to challenge myself in and grow. And then I wrote down all the pros and cons for myself for medical school versus PA school. And then I just yeah, did some self-reflection too on some different jobs I've had and positions I've been in and what I enjoyed most and where I excelled in most. And then that kind of all aligned along with some conversations with family and friends who know me well and um, some practicing PAs as well as the doctors in the clinic. And that all led to my decision. And can you just remind us what stage of your academic career you were in when you were having this self-reflection? So I was finishing my master's. So uh, I actually like was con really considering the PA program after application season had closed that year. So it was, I think it was like February or March or something of my master's. So the year after I had finished my undergrad and that's when I really started to look into it. And then it wasn't, I think probably until September that I had a really firm decision and I had gone through that reflection process and had those conversations. And I, yeah, I had my MCAT date booked and I was, because I was thinking of studying that summer, but I had made that decision, I guess a little bit before that then, because I canceled my MCAT. I was like, no, this is what I'm going to go for. And some of my family members were like, oh, you could just go for both. Um, but once they saw that, like, I was passionate about the decision, there was like lots of support. So it's great. And what kind of conversations were you having with your family? Did a lot of them... Um, sort of wonder what PAs were, how did you explain the role to them? Uh, definitely. So because the profession is so new and the only way I kind of had heard about it is one family member knew somebody who was PA, nobody else in my family knew what a PA was. So it was a lot of explaining. And I think to even inviting them to come along the process with me. So, hey, like, let's watch this video together on like a PA explaining what they do. So to bring them into that process and then also just going through my pro the process out loud. Sometimes I like to like verbalize oh, what I'm thinking through. So um, having those conversations with them, they could see like how passionate I was about it and um, how it aligned with my career goals and what I wanted. So I think bringing them along the process allowed that to be more of like um transitional decision as opposed to this is something I'm doing and then they have no idea what that is and then there's some resistance so um, I think that really helped um, bring to light some understanding for them of what the profession is and then why I was pursuing it. Um, what interviews or who did you listen to? Any particular students or specialty that uh, videos that you were watching that really resonated with you? Um, one in particular that I think of is when I went to the um, McMaster um, information session on their PA program. It was in person. So I went with my mom and we had like listened to all the PAs standing up there, like the different um, professions they were practicing in. And then there was this one individual who said that she had gone on um, like an overseas trip to do some like global um medical work and so that was definitely of interest to me because kind of my two areas of interest in medicine um are like working with the older adult population and also I have an interest in working kind of like 
international medicine in um, in different ways that are available with like established programs. So I had the opportunity to talk with her afterwards. And that was really neat. Um, because I think that was something that I thought, oh, maybe if peas aren't established as well, there aren't as many opportunities for them to be involved in those sort of larger organizations that have those focus. Um, because you, sometimes you do need to have that MD title to do certain things. So um, I like talking to her was really neat, because that allowed me to kind of hear about that. And then my mom hearing in on my conversation with her too, then saw, okay, no, this is like a really great fit for Hannah. And I think that this would be a really great opportunity. So that was one in particular. And then also some of like the featured um, PA, uh, practicing PAs on your website and definitely looked at those. And I was just so so interested in seeing the diverse fields that PAs were practicing in and how um, their roles looked a little bit different depending on what area of medicine that they were practicing in. So those are the two kind of main things that stick out to me. Yeah, so the PA that Hannah is talking about is Maggie Hitchin, who's a physical medicine and rehabilitation PA. Uh, works in Hamilton. We've also interviewed her as well, and she's done mission trips overseas. There are many examples of uh, Canadian PAs who have gone. So even though we can only technically practice in Canada on a long-term basis, there are many global and international opportunities. Will you go for a couple weeks uh, or a few months um, working in places like Haiti or um, the Himalayas or South America? There's different opportunities, a little bit different now with COVID, um, but we've had students do international placements as well where you're really exposed to rural uh, and global as well as travel medicine. Mm -hmm.